Hello, this is Paul Abrahams from Learn Jazz Piano Online. In this session, I want to explore what I consider to be the most important chord in jazz, which is the dominant seventh chord. It's a four note chord, and I'm going to show you four ways to construct it. I want you to think of it as number five in a scale, and the five, which is the dominant, will resolve to the one. And why it's so important is because the dominant seventh holds all the tension that will be released in the one or the tonic. And there are many ways you can add to this tension. So I'll take you through the process now. We're going to start with G major scale. That's the one and that's the five and we're looking for D dominant seventh. So there are three ways to find this four note chord. The first way is to take that scale, but start on the five, and then take every other note. And there you have the dominant seventh chord. Another way to find a dominant 7th chord is to take the major triad of D and then just add three semitones, one, two, three, above it, a minor third, and there you have the same chord. A third way is to start on the D. Imagine that you're playing D major scale, but instead flatten the seven. So now we have D, F sharp, A and C. And usually five leads to one. That's the dominant note leading to the tonic note. So in this case D7 leads to the one chord. I'll give you one more example. Let's find C dominant seventh. One solution is just to find the major triad of C, C, E and G, and just add a minor third or one, two, three half steps, and that is your C dominant seventh. You could also think of the major scale of C, and flatten the seventh and play each alternate note one, three, five and seven and we have the same result but the most important thing is if this C is number five number one would be F so that's where it's heading C, D, E, F is from five to one and that's going to go from tension to release. So the scale that it's based on is F major. But if we start that same scale on the C, that in fact is called the Mixolydian mode, one, three, five, and seven of that mode is the dominant seventh. And now we have two chords, C7 moving up to the F, 5, 1, dominant 7th to the tonic. And that is your tension and release. I'll take this much further in another session, but for now I suggest that you choose any note Let's say B flat, and if that's your five, find your one. Up a perfect fourth, or down a perfect fifth. Five is the B flat, one is the E flat. And then build your dominant seventh. There's a B flat dominant seventh, and resolve it to the one, which is E flat. Here's one more. Let's take the note B. 
If B is the dominant seventh, find your one. It's E, E major. So B is the five, E is the one. Build your dominant seventh, B7, and resolve it to the one which is E major. So that's it for now. My website is www.learnjazzpianoonline.com. See you soon.